LexisNexis provides computer-assisted legal research and other information for both the private and public sectors and has the world's largest electronic database of legal and public record information. I spoke to Vijay Raghavan, the Chief Technology Officer of the Risk Solutions business of LexisNexis. To start with, he told me more about the company and how, as a digital pioneer, LexisNexis was the first to bring legal and other business information online long before anyone was talking about big data. We have a wealth of data that we've aggregated from a variety of sources and that we've got contributed, well, we've got contributed data as well. And when you're off the grid, so to speak, we are in a position to uniquely identify what the risk of that person is above and beyond what a credit bureau can, can identify. The insurance com company, when they're trying to calculate what kind of, kind of a premium to charge you or whether they should even insure you, or for the matter what kind of a, a risk you are from a fraud standpoint when you file a claim. Uh, local government and law enforcement is a big customer as well, is that right? One of the things that we do very well is to find patterns among the data that we have. So relationships and links between people that might allow us to find non-obvious patterns between entities that are colluding to, to you know, orchestrate some kind of fraud. And that's in the government space, that's in the private sector space, it's in insurance, financial services across the board. That's pretty interesting. It is. I guess nowadays this would all be termed part of big data, but from your perspective, you developed this for your internal uses and then began to... Uh, we, we like to say that we came up with a big data solution long before it was called that. And we didn't come up with a big data solution to sell it to somebody. We came, came up with it because there was no uh, technolo technology platform that was, that was going to suffice to meet our needs. And so we invented this HPCC, the High Performance Computing Cluster, as it's called, which is a way to aggregate and collect and ingest massive volumes of data. And when I say massive, we're talking about tens of billions of records across tens of thousands of disparate sources so it's large volumes, a variety of data, very unstructured. Put it all together and link it. And, and the term link it seems very innocuous, but it means comparing those billions of records against the same billions of records to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that these 387 records belong to you. Right. And, and that's important because when we figure that out, we can make all kinds of decisions about it. So to take it up one level, uh, going back to my uh, insurance underwriting concept, it's knowing that not only have you filed these three claims over the past two years, but you also happen to own a motorcycle and have a pilot's license. Well, that changes your risk profile. Or in the context of credit risk, even though you're a recent uh, immigrant or have just graduated, uh, the, the fact that you've paid your utility bills on time or have not, that gives us some information about you. That's where big data comes in and how we, why we invented it and how it meets our need. Is the technology that you've developed, do you see a market for that outside of your own business? We figured that it was in our best interest to take the platform itself and, and the language that we, that we have built on top of the platform and, and open source that because it made sense for us to be able to have other people take a look at the platform and contribute to it and grow the platform a little bit more. How, uh, how much of a threat are the sort of various uh, privacy initiatives that you know, exist in, especially perhaps in Europe? Do you see that as potentially curtailing the growth of, of businesses like your own? No, I, I don't think so. The, the, the privacy initiatives exist for a good reason, but they always have to be balanced with the value that we provide to our customers um, and to the markets. So a case in point, uh, when I talked about um, underwriting in the context of insurance, the fact that we are in some way affecting uh, your wallet because your premium may go this way or that way causes us to have to give you a letter that says, okay, your premium went up or you were denied insurance coverage because we found something negative on you. And you as a consumer have the right to come back to us and say, well, this isn't me, or you've got the wrong guy, or this is the wrong piece of information, or it's outdated. And we react to that kind of thing. So whether it's in the US or in Europe or in any country, our policy is to make sure we, we don't just get the data, we understand the regulations surrounding the usage of the data, we understand the consumer's rights, and we go into it with our eyes wide open, saying that we've got to build a solution that takes into account all those, all those different facets.